Hello, this is Frank Mealy from HeartlandDiaryUSA.com, bringing you news every conservative can use. Last night, Laura Ingram had Rudy Giuliani on, and he's the man of the hour. Two days before the full House votes on impeachment of President Trump, Giuliani is still beating the drum for, against Ukrainian corruption, including corruption by American diplomats in Ukraine, and he's unveiling the full scope of the conspiracy against Trump. I don't think Laura Ingram really liked what she heard, and Rudy Giuliani had to ask her to shut up at one point. It was quite interesting. Well, nobody's made Rudy Giuliani shut up, and that's good for all of us. Listen up. Joining us now, the man of the moment, Rudy Giuliani. We thought we'd ask you personally, Rudy, what is your reaction to those critics who say, oh my gosh, Rudy's got to stop while he's... Uh behind. They don't even say ahead. Rudy, they're so critical of you. Well, I don't know. Uh, maybe they don't believe that there was, in fact, substantial corruption in Ukraine that went on for years, and that the President of the United States, when he asked for an investigation, was doing his duty as the President of the United States. Maybe they buy into <clears throat> some form of the Democratic uh, criticism. But Rudy. what I uncovered there yeah. are two major schemes, one for $7.5 billion, the other for $5 billion in money laundering that went on all through the Obama administration. Part of it involved Joe Biden, the, br the bribery part. It's a disgrace that he's not under investigation for it in, in America, maybe because our law enforcement is too afraid. But the reality is it's a complete defense for the president. When the president of the United States was asking the president of Ukraine to investigate, he was asking him to investigate crimes at the highest levels of both governments that the president of the Ukraine referred to as we, meaning it's our problem, joint problem. So he's being impeached for doing the right thing as president of the United States. Nothing to be defensive about. Rudy, much Zero. of the work, your work in Ukraine hinges on the word of uh, former prosecutor general of the Ukraine, Lutsenko. <laughs> but here's how he was described in The New Yorker. Of course, no conservative publication, but you gave them an interview. Lutsenko, sometimes referred to simply as the corrupt prosecutor general of Ukraine, has been portrayed hardly without reason as an unscrupulous politician prone to telling lies to further his personal ambitions. Lutsenko fed information to Giuliani, which Giuliani, Trump, and their allies spun to smear the reputations of the Bidens and uh, Marie Ivanovich, whom Trump fired in April. One of the House's star witnesses told um, uh, of Lutsenko, said, I don't think we'd be here if not for him. Now, this hit piece, and it's a hit piece, of course. also has you on the record admitting that you forced out Marie Ivanovich. Of course you said I did. you needed her out of the way, but I, you're a personal attorney for the president, so why do you need her out of the way? I didn't need her out of the way. I, I forced her out because she's corrupt. I came back uh, with a document that will show unequivocally that she committed perjury when she said that she turned down the visa for uh, Mr. Shokin because of corruption. The fact is, on the record, in the State Department's own records, the reason given is because he had had an operation and hadn't recovered yet. The operation, of course, was two years before. It's documentary evidence that she committed perjury. I have four witnesses who will testify that she personally turned down their visas because they were going to come here and give evidence either against Biden or against the Democratic Party. There's no question that uh, she was acting corruptly in that position and had to be removed. She should have been fired if the State Department weren't part of the deep state. But why didn't, but, but I have a question. Pompeo is someone I know you have an enormous amount of respect for, Secretary of State, you know, I certainly do. Why not, you know, why doesn't the president go to Pompeo and say, we have concerns, I want my own person. And that's just normal. Presidents put their own people in all the time, big deal. So why doesn't it go from, from the president to Pompeo? Why does it go from you well, it, didn't go, it, did, it, it didn't go from me to the president. First one to go to the president was Pete Sessions, and then a number of congressmen who said that she was saying that he's going to be impeached. And then when I interviewed witnesses, not just Mr. Lutsenko, four other witnesses, they told me that she was specifically holding up visas in order to obstruct the investigation of collusion in the Ukraine and specifically to obstruct the Biden investigation. I have that testimony under oath. I gave it to the State Department. They never investigated a single witness. When they say that she's innocent, 
It's innocent without investigation. Oh, well, yeah, what they say, Rudy, what it they is say, a cover up. Yeah, what they it's say is that sorry, she's the one. She, the, the entire hearing, she was saying, well, I'm the one, and everyone else who knew her, she was there fighting corruption. She no, was fact, the corruption she, fighter, fact, and fact, Rudy was just pushing the interest I also in have, I also have tape recordings with Ukrainian uh, 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 officials, including uh, career prosecutors who say that during the Obama era, the corruption in Ukraine became substantially worse, and that she was a contributor to the corruption. For example, remember, remember when she was asked at the end by Jim Jordan about how many things the uh, Ukrainians had done, the statements that were made, that he should be destroyed, his campaign should be destroyed, he was insane, uh, the, the, the ambassador uh, from yeah. Ukraine to the U.S. criticized him. She, she was asked, did you ever go complain about that to the Ukrainian government? This is foreign interference in our election, right? The answer was no. Also, when she talks about Shokin being corrupt, how come she doesn't talk about the candidate she supported? Poroshenko, who stole everything that didn't move. Poroshenko is right now under investigation for taking $100 million in bribes. My, my question she Rudy, was the close deeper to one. him. Yeah. Biden was close to him. If they were worried about corruption, why weren't they worried about yeah, their you, friends Ukraine, who were taking billions? Ukraine wanted Hillary to win. I mean, that's just beyond obvious. But and a lot, of, a lot of Ukraine countries, wanted yeah, her to win. Yeah, the we know that. But that yeah, Rudy, Rudy, hold on. People in the White House today, according to these reporters who are talking on, on camera, are worried about your continuing role, fairly or unfairly. Jonathan Carl, watch. If you talk to senior officials in the White House, to a person, privately, they will tell you that they, uh, that they wish Rudy Giuliani would just go away and never be seen in public again related to any of this. There's great frustration. Is that in any way, in your view, accurate? Are there people in the White House that are saying that? That could be. Is it accurate that in some way it's going to hurt to show the substantial amount of corruption that took place and that the president was doing what he should do when he asked for an investigation? I'd say they're buying into the Democratic spin. The, the fact is there's nothing to be defensive about. Joe Biden was involved in a multi-million dollar corrupt scheme along with a number of other Democrats. It's never been resolved. They've never been held to account. As long as those issues remain between the United States and Ukraine, we really can't fight corruption in the Ukraine. And the fact is that there are numerous Ukrainian witnesses that want to come to the United States and explain how much, during the Obama administration, Ukraine was corrupted by Americans. Okay, but Rudy, why are we giving them any money then? Why did the president okay the money? I can't answer that question as to well, why they do that. Well, you talk to him all the time. I wouldn't give him a cent. Well, that is my job. Anything. My job is to defend him. What I will tell you is I have a report from the Ukrainian accounting office in 2017 showing that $5.3 billion in aid seems to have been wasted. Our State yeah, Department... Well, that's a surprise let, me. let me finish without interrupting this. I got the whole thought out. Our State Department, under Yovanovitch went to the police and told them not to do the investigation. And then they demanded they not do the investigation. You know why? Because our embassy was involved in wasting a great deal of that money by giving it to NGOs. And when I was asked, do the, uh, do the NGOs have a political bent? You know, you know the answer I was yeah. given? They were Soros-like. They were left of left. Well, I hope you have the president and the Congress and the Senate, we're out of time, but Lindsey Graham and all these guys actually do an investigation. That's not coming from you, but that's coming from a lot of the stuff I you've am, developed. I am willing I to show this happens. to anybody that wants to pay attention to it. So far, law enforcement has been afraid to look at it. Yeah, all right. Well, we got, we, someone's got to do the, so, someone's got to actually do this. If this is, if this is going to make sense to people and really make sense, then it actually has to be followed through by the appropriate channels. You're one person and a lawyer. All right, Rudy, thank you. Democrat defect.